we just found a pomegranate but it's in a very precarious situation. This house is kind of abandoned. Let's see it there, right there. Careful. These are lemons right here. You got one of them? If we just get the ones that are leaning over. Can you get that other one? Yeah. All right, we're relying on trespassing. Don't do that without me. But I hate seeing good pomegranates go to waste. They look bigger from over there. Oh, that looks good. I'm gonna go <laughs> just up, up and down the strip. 20k in cash, just in case. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Oh my gosh. Chips. That feels like um, 12k? I think this is, uh, yeah, this is like 13 and a half. And well, I'm gonna try and get rid of these Mirage chips one way or another. We just finished like two or three hours of really Intense, emotional, relational, business meetings and discussing relationships. It's probably the, the most important reason why we come to Vegas. Spending two or three days solid working on those things um, works a lot better for me. So we're not finished yet. We still got some more business, but usually these weekends are pretty intense. We're just getting ready to leave our vacation rental. This place was 400 a night, it worked out really great. So yes, we had In-N-Out Burger yesterday. And yes, we had In-N-Out Burger the day before. Hey babes, how's it going? Miss you. Starbucks, getting some work done. We are at the Bellagio right now, and I am totally allowed to be here, I think. I'm just not allowed to play black now. Those are my favorite blackjack tables. Those are the ones that they asked me not to play blackjack game. It's a three to two game, and it's a dealer stand on all 17s. I think I'm mostly allowed here, but it's kind of a gray area because this doorway right here, okay, I was playing blackjack here and they didn't like the way I was playing. I said I wanted to leave, so they started chasing me out, but then I got to these doors and they stopped me and they wouldn't let me leave. And I said, I'm gonna call my lawyer if you don't let me out of here. And they kind of said some things about not being welcome back. This is the pit right here that I was playing. Looks like Chuck E. Cheese. So there's kind of a cool story. Eden and I were here um, a couple years back and we had just got this camera and she took this amazing picture right here with this statue. It, it, this bird landing on 
the statue's head. And I'll show you that picture right here. And I have a picture of her taking the picture too. Which is this is our last spot in Vegas. We're going to the Korean barbecue. Meeting my friend Joe, who you guys saw earlier. He was a guy that we met because we taught him how to play blackjack and now he's been traveling the country playing professional blackjack. He's kind of a friend of ours. He stayed with us out in Cincinnati. I lost uh, like 10,000 uh, 10, Mirage and then I got 10,000 back. And then I won like another 15, 12 from Venetia. 4,000 is over 8,000. Oh, that guy, he's car counter. Most everyone from the boot camp left already. You guys are flying out in a few minutes. So then I'll be left here in Vegas alone with the casinos. This is like such a different feeling. Like when everyone's here and we're all hanging out and having a good time. And then when it's like just casino world. This doesn't really make you feel less lonely, you know? <laughs> it kind of like uh, makes it more lonely in some ways. Kind of emotions it puts you through, you know. How much money do you have on you right now? Uh, let's see, uh, should be 20, 20, 20, 25 in cash, and another 20, 25 in chips. So, 45,000 bucks? Yeah. Is that weird? Not anymore, no. No, not at all. I'm asking Joe these questions because we used to carry a lot of money around with us when we played blackjack, but I haven't done it in a while, and he's, he's more in, in it right now. Sometimes, like, you forget. It's kind of weird that you can forget where, like, $10,000 is. But I remember I had some money, like, getting on my body and then um, getting ready for bed that night. Um, I was, like, taking off my pants and forgot that there was... Uh, taking off my pants and taking off my socks and forgot that there was, like, a 10000 like, strap in my socks. What's the biggest... What's the biggest way that you see money differently now? Mm. Oh, I recognize its, it's uh, ability to control you. You don't realize like how much it can control your emotions and control the way you think. So it's more just recognizing its like its power, but I don't want to say power in that sense. It's just Including the use of e-cigarettes is not allowed on any Delta flight. 